it's it says it's seven fourteen, but it feels like eight fourteen. Daylight savings time can really mess you up. I am making the Sunday recap video on a Monday. And I guess I just got an email, but I think I know what that was. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit about, um, you know, the recap kind of thing. We had the stream on Friday, the Layer Cake Gang. Awesome. It went four, it went four hours. I admittedly was a little slow on um, Saturday, but I worked through it, and I worked through it on Sunday. But I could not bring myself to make a video, even to even if it's going to be a couple minutes long. Um, I'm going to be all over the place. This one's mostly about feedback and like playing your mixes or your productions for friends and family, or like letting people you know hear this stuff before it's out. Or maybe even before the artist hears it, like if you're doing production or mixing. Um, but I, it, we all go through this, and it, and you, it never ends. I don't think it'll ever end for anybody that's in the production game. But I'm going to read, I'm going to out one of my friends without outing his name. He's an artist that I um, mentor a bit and um, have done some mastering for and production with uh collaborations to you know sort of like give them ideas on how to look at things because i'm an og um so he sent me a text the other day because he's just putting out some new music and he was really excited about it and uh and then as we all do you you get um i don't know remorse about putting it out there it's not seller's remorse but it's something like that uh so he sends me this text says uh feeling weird about the release really dug it but now i can't believe anybody that says they like it one sentence advice question mark it's pretty simple response that i gave him which came you know it was an instant one which was the people you know dot 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 don't matter and the cadence on that is is important. You can't. I'm not saying the people you know don't matter. Uh, the people do matter. The the people. By the way, this T-shirt is not as clean as it looks. But um, the what I'm saying is the people you know don't necessarily matter, and and really kind of don't matter in the big picture. If you're trying to reach millions of people your friends and family or your your bandmates or whatever your, your other band friends or your other producer friends musicians their opinion is it's it's kind of just you know it's just stuff to talk it's talk but everyone's going to come from their own perspective it's not anything malicious it's not wrong it's not right it just doesn't matter what matters is what happens when it gets out into the world. And if you're looking for some reassurances from your friends, it's it's a slippery slope because there was one guy, M. Night Shyamalan, I, I'm repeating a story I told a friend of mine. I, saw, I heard an interview with that guy, he's an author, he wrote that, uh, The Sixth Sense. And uh, he said that he would never allow anyone to read a rough draft because if anyone had any type of response whether it was that's incredible or yeah i liked it you know that could those any kind of response is enough to derail someone on the 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 journey to like hitting hitting the send button or hitting the upload button or or sending the mix to Dropbox so that the client can hear it. Uh, so I went through some of that this week. I, I'm working on a new project. And uh, I mean, I've been doing it long enough to where I know what I'm looking for when I'm poking around at feedback. There are some people that I'm really specifically sending things to 
to just get one topic clarified. So, for instance, if, I, if I'm working on something that's borderline EDM uh, and I don't consider myself to be to know everything about EDM. I mean, I don't know any, everything about any type. So I'll think, like, who, who do I know that really is in that lane? Oh, yeah, so-and-so. Let me send him this track and um, just get a little feedback to see if they think I have enough elements leading into the choruses or, like, you know. This might be something simple, like, you know, what are you thinking about the EQ, the EQ of the overall mix? Is there, is it too bright? Is it too dark? S stuff like that, where you can just get like little bits of feedback. And it, it's got to be people that you trust are going to come from a, I don't know, an opinion without an agenda, I guess you would say. I don't have no idea. Oh, there we go. I was looking for my timer thing. So I, I didn't want to go too long today. So, you know, letting your friends hear your work, your mixes, your production, your songwriting ideas, slippery slope. You have to learn how to roll with it. You got to learn how to get to the point where you can use what you want to use from the feedback. Uh, if you possibly would fall victim to listening and changing directions with any feedback that comes in, you might be in trouble because it, the feedback will never end and, the, and the, the thoughts and opinion. You can never play, this is something I learned a long time ago, you can never play something for someone and say like, you know, I'm going to play this new thing I'm working on. And you have to expect that they're going to offer some idea of what they would do once the song is done playing, even if you're sitting right with them. Even if you tell them, like, look, I'm not looking for any new ideas here. I'm not look. I played a mix for a guy one time. This is a long time ago. Finished mix. He's like, oh, could I come in and, like, hear what you, hear what you just did or whatever? And he was, a, he, was, he, he was not anywhere in the business at the time, um, to put it nicely. So, yeah, come on in. And this guy, he was hungry. He wanted to get make his way in as a producer. And this guy, like halfway through the song, on a finished mix that he knew that I told him, like, yeah, this is done. This is going out, like, to the labels, putting it out and the whole bit or whatever. He's like, uh, oh, yeah, you know what would be cool is if the kick drum did this during the, the B section or whatever. Like, note to self. Never invite this mf -er into the studio ever again or, like, allow him to come in. and Because, like, it's like, dude, who, who asked you? That kind of thing. I didn't ask you for that. You asked me to listen, if you could listen to the music. On a tangent. It's, it's got to be the daylight savings time thing because I, I'm all out of whack. I've got the fake sunlight coming in. I've got the cloudy windows. Um, so the other, the other reality about feedback and things like that are you're working on a project like your feelings your feelings don't matter if you're working with other people on their product i think my coffee just ended um what do i mean by that like if i'm mixing for an artist their feelings are what matters not my feelings on the mix. There are mixes that I have let go out into the wilderness that, you know, weren't exactly like what my my um, emotional side would want. But the artist knew what they needed. They knew what they wanted, or the label did, or the the other producer did, or whatever. And that's the, that's part of the business is the, like trying to find that middle ground of like you know you did your you know you, there's so many valid mixes that you can do and if we're just talking about mixes this that's there's there's a variety of valid mixes I mean I could listen to a playlist of like the top 
50 of any genre and mix by mix or production by production say, well, they're really not the same. They're different, but they're in the top 50. They're on a top 50 playlist and they are getting response from the audience, from listeners, you know, whether you want to think it's fake streams or not, or bots. Um, so yeah, feedback, what is it good for? I have like a couple of notes just so I didn't get totally nuts. I mean, feedback is sort of like the comment section of YouTube, whereas like, I just put these videos out and then see what the comments are, which is kind of like what you, you do with music. You don't focus group a video and then say like, okay, yeah, I feel okay about putting this out. And you really can't totally focus group a, a um, music production in that sense. You could do things like have it played in a club and see like what kind of reaction you get. Have it played um, on someone's DJ show or something like that and see if, if there's a response. Uh, some friends play their stuff on their channels and see what the response is. Play a snip of it on their Instagram channel. See what, see if people jump to it. You know, so if you're a new artist and you want to test reaction, maybe you put 15 seconds of something. But be prepared that 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 reaction could send you into a tailspin. Like sooner or later, you just have to hit the button and let it go. So that's uh, that's the Sunday slash Monday slash daylight savings time recap. Thanks for the buy me a coffees and super chats and all that that you guys did on um, Friday night and, and through the week. Um, one side note: there was I recommended a compressor pedal on the stream. I'm doing this one standing up so that my my chair doesn't squeak. But that's not going to be... I'm not standing for four hours in the stream. Um, I recommended a compressor pedal on, from Amazon on the stream that was like on sale for like 10 bucks. And I bought one guitar pedal. And I said, wow, this, you know, this pedal sounds really good. Like, you know, hot tip. And then the next day I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to get one. I, I think I'm going to get an extra one, you know. They're sold out. I think my, one of my buddies on there and maybe a couple other guys on the stream scooped them up. So I have to keep my eyes open and keep an eye on Amazon and actually note to self, don't give any hot tips until you've picked up every piece of gear that you want on that hot tip thing. I'm going to talk about some uh, gear acquisition syndrome stuff that I've been going through. I talked to you guys about the MPC that I was thinking about getting and this and that. Uh, that'll be for another, another piece, another clip. Good luck on the week.